Hey Taurus, welcome to my channel and welcome to your March update. We're going to find out what's going on in your life for March. Please remember that these energy can resonate either way. This could be your, you or your person. This also can resonate for your sun, moon, rising and Venus sign. And these are just general messages, so they may not resonate for everyone, okay? So let's get straight into the Taurus and find out what's going on for March. Okay, Taurus, so I'm definitely getting that there's a decision that needs to be made in March, okay? Now, I am getting that this is between two people. I'm getting that two people really want to be with you, okay? Um, you do have two options here, or there may be more than two options. I am getting that there are a few options here that are keeping an eye on you. Um, I am getting that there is a choice to be made in the month of March, okay, regarding regarding this decision okay i am getting one of the choices is a twin flame situation okay um and you feel very strongly about this person so i am getting the person that you have your heart set on okay um, they could be like a divine masculine or a twin flame, okay? Um, I am getting that they're not showing up at the moment. They could be ghosting you, okay? Um, what you don't see is this person trying to work on their money, okay? They feel like they have some type of money issue at the moment, which is preventing them from coming forward, okay? They are in a very negative, like, mindset at the moment, because of their money situation, they don't feel like they have financial freedom at the moment. They feel like they're going through some type of money issue here where they're trying to either gain money, save money, or they just don't feel like they have any financial freedom at the moment, okay? Um, I'm getting that money has been slow. They could have lost their job. They could have lost their source of income, but this is making them feel a little bit insecure to come forth. This person is more focused on trying to get their money together before they come forward and, you know, offer you anything here. Now, this person, they are very stuck in the past about you, okay? They don't feel like they're good enough for you at the moment, okay? They feel like they need to work on themselves, um... That's interesting. I'm getting something about Superman. Let me know if that resonates. Yeah, this person, it's like they've turned away from this connection. They feel a very strong connection to you, but they don't feel strong enough to come forward. They feel like they have some type of insecurity, which definitely could um, be surrounding money, okay? See, this person looks at you as very abundant, very beautiful, like you have a lot of options. Um, and they feel like they need to work on themselves, okay, before they do come forward in this connection, right? That's why this person's not communicating at the moment, but they are keeping a very close eye on you. I am getting this very stubborn vibe towards this um, twin flame connection because this person's not showing up, okay? It's causing you a lot of burden. Um, it's making you question yourself as well. Um, and I am getting that there are other options, you know, showing up here, Taurus, wanting to be with you. Um, and this person, they want to be with you as well, but they're not making any movements. Like they're saying, they're watching you. Um, they're insecure to come forward, even though you're their wish fulfillment, they don't feel strong enough to come forward. It's like they really don't, they look at you as, they've put you on the pedestal here. 
So they do feel very guarded when it comes to you. They really want to impress you. This person had some type of insecurity problem. They feel like if they came into your life right now that they would cause some type of burden because they're struggling financially here. So this person's keeping a very close eye on you. And I'm getting that for some of you, you may be talking to somebody else or showing interest in somebody else. And they're seeing this and they're really upset about it. Like they're feeling like they're in this very competitive mode about it. But this person's still not showing up or showing you anything. It's like they're keeping themselves held back here. There's definitely some financial problem here. I'm hearing the lawsuit. So they could be going through that. Let me know if that resonates for you. Yeah, so this person, they feel like at the moment, okay, there's a choice to be made, but they're not making a choice. It's like they're just sitting on this choice because they really don't feel good enough for you. They see you as somebody that's very independent, okay, in your power, okay. Um, you have a lot of options. You've got a lot of opportunities around you. You could be in the public eye or, like, there's something very creative about you. You just stand out, okay. This person feels like you've got better options than them, um, especially right now because they feel like like they don't have a lot of money. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with a Leo here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Again, this person holding themselves back, okay? So it's like they're getting guided to communicate with you, okay? Uh, make some type of movement, okay? Because they feel like they're about to miss their chance, miss their opportunity here with you. Because you're literally like moving away from this, I'm getting, because this person's not showing up, Taurus. I'm getting this energy of you moving away from this. Like, you're not like sitting here, you know, staying stuck on this person. And this person can see that as well. Like, they can see you have other options. Um, this person is very, they're guarded at the moment, okay? Like, they're very apprehensive um, to come forward at the moment because they don't have a lot to offer. They feel like that you're financially better off than them and that really bothers them because they want to come and look after you. So either, it's like they're pending on this choice or their wish fulfillment they could have um, walked away from this connection, chose somebody else, started denying this connection because they sort of were scared um, that they didn't have a lot to offer here. They feel like you're very abundant, like you have a lot of money or something. They're very nervous to talk to you, okay? Like, you give them anxiety, and I'm getting this person usually not a nervous person, but when it comes to you and this connection... They're very nervous. They feel like you're very strong, very beautiful. They really feel like you have it all. Yeah, you make this person nervous, okay? This person may deliberately stay away from you because you make this person nervous, right? And you may be really confused about their feelings because they may even be, you know, entertaining other people. I am getting they could have, like, some sort of karmic or they're just entertaining other people trying to ignore this connection and I'm getting it's been a little bit of time and over time their feelings haven't changed like they have so much passion and love here for you um, that it's really like driving them to come and have some type of conversation here with you okay they really want to show you how they're feeling but they've been very slow I'm hearing larger than life. So in the past, this person was, um, it's like they had very big dreams, okay? They really wanted to accomplish a lot. So that's why they tried to put this on hold, okay? But this person really wants to be with you and only you. Like, they have so much love here for you. They can see you, like, in the future, you and them, like, living a very luxurious life together. But they do, they're trying to get their money together, okay? They don't feel confident right now. They don't feel like they have a lot to offer. I'm hearing that song in my head, um, South of the Border from, I think it's Ed Sheeran.
So there is an aspect of you making this person feel nervous. Um, you make this person feel like they're not them true, their true self or it's like they cannot be as confident with you because you make them nervous because they feel all this for you so they could have tried to walk away from them. And deny their feeling here. And I'm getting that you're playing no game here, Taurus. Like, this person tried to walk away from you and end it, and you were just like, well, you know what, okay, I've got plenty of other options here, that's fine. Um, you know, like, it didn't really, like, you know, it was like, oh, well, that's their choice. Um, but now they're obsessing over it, and I'm getting 999. They're obsessing over it because it's like, they tried to end this, you walked away, pulled your energy back, um, you could be talking to somebody else, and now they're completely obsessed with you and the connection. And it's like they can't deny it, okay? They want to be with you and only you, and they're scared that... They feel very regretful for the way they treated you, okay? They try to deny this. They try to walk away. They try to pretend that, you know, they didn't want this connection. And it was a complete lie. This person trying to manifest you or trying their hardest to... I am getting manifest, okay? It's like they're getting into their... um psychic abilities or something or they're trying spell work or something or manifestation um they're really wanting another chance here with you it's like they ended it but now they want a new beginning i'm hearing more to you okay let me know if that resonates So there is um, this aspect where this person sort of thought that you were like high maintenance and they wouldn't be able to like tame you here so they tried to walk away from this but now it's like they know they want you and only you. It's like they're wishing, either praying for you or manifesting you. They're really wishing for another chance here. They put you on a pedestal, they think you're absolutely beautiful. Yeah, they have a lot of passion here towards you, you make this person very excited, okay? Yeah, so, um, in the past, this person tried to walk away. Now this person is trying to come back. Like, they're really obsessed with coming back. With the magician here and this card, which is my spell card, there definitely could be some type of black magic or just spell work manifestation them trying everything to like they're obsessed okay and they feel it and they feel like you pulled your energy away you could be seeing other people um and this is really freaking this person out but yet they're still like they're trying to do something like manifest or spell work because they're scared to come forward and let you know how they're actually feeling i'm getting you guys haven't spoken to each other in a while I'm hearing something about the lottery, okay, that could resonate. Um, you guys haven't spoken in a while. This person could have intentionally tried to, like, keep themselves away from you. And I'm hearing the name Joe. They tried to intentionally keep themselves away from you because you made them nervous. They also didn't feel like they had a lot to offer here. They also walked away... It's like this person walked away from this love to try to gain money or something so they had more to offer here because this person knows that you guys are meant to be together but right now they're not showing that. This person's doing a lot of watching you and not communicating. They definitely are very intimidated by you. Yeah, this person is keeping themselves held back because they're sort of scared of you rejecting them. They find you very beautiful. They're scared of rejection, okay? They feel like you have a lot of other options. Um, you know, you guys haven't spoken for a while, but yet they can't get over you. This person's obsessing over you. And they can't feel your energy, so they feel like that you're over there. I'm getting in the past, this person... They didn't really, 
they didn't realize what this connection is. They were hiding their feelings. They tried to run from this love. And now they feel like the youth pulled away. It's like they're desperate to get this second chance here. I'm getting something about an owl. Yeah, definitely getting you guys aren't talking. You both are sort of in a state of, like, confusion about this connection, Taurus, because no one's making movement here. Um... You both want to be together, but you both are stuck in this, it's like this stubborn, um, like, you know, this person walked away from you, so you're like, you know what, let me just explore my other option, and they're like, no way, like, it's like this push and pull dynamic here happening, right, but nobody's making a move, you're both stuck in confusion, there's no clarity, right, in the 3D, because you both keep, you're feeling too yourself but especially with divine masculine they try to run they try to even pretend they don't feel this because they feel like there's a lot of com competition they feel like that they need to work on themselves they definitely have a negative mindset okay at the moment yet they have a lot of love here for you they really want to be loyal to you they want to show up they want this brand new beginning but they're not doing a lot of movement in the 3d they're doing a lot of watching you and waiting for the day where they feel like that they're good enough because at the moment they don't feel like they're good enough and this is holding them back like literally their fear of rejection is holding them back here all they want is this new beginning with you okay they cannot stop thinking about it okay they love you they think you're very beautiful you have this person's heart yet you wouldn't even realize it especially if you're dealing with a capricorn here or a virgo strong earth here in your reading Again, you guys, like, it's weird. It's like you both love each other, but nobody talks about it, okay? There's this stubborn vibe between you two because of what's happened in the past here. It's like you guys are definitely supposed to be together, okay? You both love each other. And there's not much communication of your feelings in the 3D, though. And it's because the person, they look at you as the empress. They're very intimidated by you. They feel like they don't have a lot to offer you. You have other options here that, you know, you have a lot of options here, right? And they feel like that basically this is just a dream I'm hearing. That like this is just in their head. They're stuck in the illusion. They have a lot of anxiety. They're scared this is over as well. Yeah, they feel stupid because this person did a lot of trying to ignore you, trying to ignore this, even trying to, maybe they ghosted you or... It's like the communication was off, okay? This person's very stubborn. They could have, um, because you have... Well, they feel like you have other options because you're very beautiful, even if you don't. That's how they feel. And they feel like that they want to come forward, Taurus. But they feel like there's an insecurity here where they feel like somebody else could treat you better. They feel like you're going... Like, you're moving to the next level here with somebody else. And, you know, they're feeling very regretful because you're their wish fulfillment. They want to be with you. But they haven't been communicating with you, okay? They've been acting the complete opposite. Not telling you the truth, not communicating, holding themselves back here. This person really wants to have a conversation here with you, but they're very scared to talk to you. They, they watch you a lot, and they don't communicate. Yeah, this person assumed the worst. Like, instead of trying for this beautiful Ten of Cups happily ever after, they just stay stuck in this Five of Cups, like, oh, what if I get rejected? Or something like that, okay? Like, they definitely are seeing the negative side of this Taurus. And that's why they're not coming forward, okay? Like, they feel like it would be easier to walk away from this and not come forward, but then they continuously think about coming forward because they don't want to miss this opportunity. 
This person is definitely having like a battle with their heart and their um, mind at the moment, okay? Like their heart and their mind, they're fighting right now. <laughs> Um, because they want this brand new beginning, they love you, but they will not make any movement, like, and other people will, that's the thing, Taurus, like, you have other people that want to be with you, that are showing you exactly how they're feeling, and this person's acting the complete opposite, being very manipulative, um, trying to, like, they are coming in with some type of co communication, this person's very stubborn at the moment, okay? And I am getting that even though you both love each other, like, there's no there's communication problem here. This person's wearing a mask, okay? They're trying to hide their feelings. They feel restricted to come forward. Um, and basically, they're trying to show you the complete opposite to how they're really feeling. Okay, Taurus? Especially if you're dealing with a Sagittarius or a Leo or a Virgo here, okay? So that's all I have for you. I really hope this resonated. If it did, please let me know in the comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.